I'm going to show you how to transfer your photos and videos directly from any of the iPhone 13s to any Chromebook using the charging cable. And I'm talking about copying the photos and videos to the hard drive of the Chromebook. Nothing to do with the Google Cloud, okay? And we're going to be using the charging cable, okay? The thing is with the iPhone 13s, the charging cable that comes with it is a USB-C to a lightning okay the thing is I don't have a USB-C port on my Chromebook so what I can do is I can grab one of these other iPhone cables a USB um, a USB connector to a uh, lightning or I can use one of these little adapters okay it's a uh, USB-C to a USB-A okay I'll put links below for the little adapter and the cable if you guys need that okay anyway I just use the adapter here so USB-C, I'll plug it into this little adapter here. And now I'll plug the USB into my USB port on my Chromebook here. So let me go ahead and plug that in, just like that. Now let me go ahead and grab my iPhone 13 here. Let me go ahead and plug it in. And let me go ahead and log in here. And now you should get a message here. It says, allow this device to access photos and videos. You want to tap on allow. As soon as you tap on allow, this files uh, window here will pop up. Okay, this files window is uh, is this one right here. If you don't get the message on there, go ahead and unplug it, and then plug it back in, and then see if you get that message. And then once you allow it, this window here will pop up. Okay. Now look very closely. Okay, and let me zoom in here. Now. If you look on the uh, left side here, you should see Apple, I Apple iPhone, okay? So let me click on Apple iPhone right there. Now you want to go ahead and double click on the DCIM folder. That's where all your photos and videos are. So I'll double click on DCIM. And now I'll double click there. Now these are all my photos and videos, okay? Now take note. This is not a Windows computer, so it's not like I can go ahead and uh, drag and drop it onto my desktop. If I try to drag it and drop it, if I let go, it's going to swing right back down. So what we need to do is actually save it to the hard drive first. Now if you look on the left pane here, let me zoom in a little bit. You see under My Files, now My Files, that is your actual hard drive on your Chromebook. Okay, So this is what I typically do. So under My Files, let me go ahead and create a new folder. Let me just use my trackpad. I'll just use my two fingers, tap on the trackpad, and I'm going to create a new folder. I'll Tap right here, new folder, and I'll just call this one iPhone 13, just like that. And now, oops, let me go back to DCIM. Let me double click on these here. Now what I can do is I can drag and drop these individually, okay, right into that new folder. Uh, or I can select whichever one I want, or I can just go ahead and do the whole shebang. Let me just, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, move all of these. So I'm going to highlight all of these and I'm going to drag and drop to that new folder right here called iPhone 13. I'm going to let it go. Now you can see, uh, give it one second here. You can see it's copying 60 items to iPhone 13 folder down here. Got to be patient here. I've got a lot of vid uh, videos here. Some of them are in 4K. So let's just be patient. Now let me just put it on pause. Okay, now I only have one minute remaining. Well, finally, okay, so now it says complete. It said one minute remaining, but I still had to wait like three or four minutes, okay? Anyway, so now it's saved to the hard drive, okay? You can go ahead and unplug your iPhone 13. Now, if we go to that new folder that we just made under My Files called iPhone 13, if I click on there, now all the files and folders are right here. So there you go. Pretty simple. Any uh, questions or issues, just comment below, all right? Good luck, guys.